She hasn't seen her family in three years. Now their flight to Canada is eight hours late. Rasha Elandari is an archaeologist, studying the shifts in ancient populations by analyzing pieces of shattered pottery, learning from what is left behind. I look at what people made uh, 6,000 years ago and um, how uh, they were moving, why they moved uh, because of a warfare or because they wanted to change the place. This is uh, their son. I haven't met him yet. So you haven't met this guy? No. I, I don't know him yet. You know, I just talked to him. So. But that face. There is no doubt why her parents, sisters, brothers-in-law, and their kids are moving. The family fled Syria in fear. People in my country or in the Middle East are fighting each other, killing each other based on their religions, you know, and the dictators are enforcing that. But here it's the opposite. That's for sure. Andrew Hazen's synagogue and Ali Reza Tarabian's mosque are next door to each other, have been for decades. Now they have come together, working together, to bring Rasha's family, all eight of them, to Canada. It started about a year ago. There was a phone call, then a couple of people from the synagogue dropped by the mosque to follow up, to see if anyone thought it would be a good idea. Many did, although some hesitated. We had a very good relationship with the uh, uh, synagogue, but the only thing that we shared with them was uh, our parking lot. Some people were thinking, OK, we haven't done uh, any project with uh, uh, the synagogue. This is a big project. Uh, so uh, maybe it's better to, to start a smaller one and then start a big one. So it was little but a little bit risky. Who's going to go and pick up uh, the furniture? But a lot easier than you might think. Why don't we all go get the other furniture? Yeah, and the ladies and maybe a couple of people doing the... Okay. You guys can work out this. It's okay, and if I get really cold, I'll go over to the door. Door. Yeah. They don't talk about politics. Instead, focusing on the tasks at hand. Yeah, nice and clean you. Sure. Unload this and then go get the sofa. Yeah. That means working at a pace yeah. that would make most grumble hauling load after load in frigid weather. Actually, you know what happened? In the car, my phone turned off because of the cold. Oh. So I lost you. I also I lost you. They work together, raising money, looking for housing, and rounding up donated furniture on a cold Canadian weekend. Found an offer of another um, kitchen table and chairs. Oh, really? Should we... Uh... Do we have room? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're actually filling this thing up now. Which involves figuring out how much generosity can fit into their rented van. Allie, do you have time to do one more run with the van? Yeah, sure, yes. Because I got a, a call for a guy. We got a, a kid's uh, yes. bed and desk set. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. What else other than work in Canada? Can we think of anything? It has been, so far, an enormous amount of work and sometimes even fun. But both communities are trying to make a statement. That's one of the things that excited us about doing it this way. Um, is we wanted to do it in a way that showed that Canada was a place where something like this could happen. And a mosque and a synagogue could be on the same page and work together uh, on a project like this. Rasha, shopping for warm boots for her nephews, can't stop being astonished. In light of what's happening everywhere now, and in the States and all that, uh, what's happening here is just amazing. It's, uh, it's you know, incredible how, the, how Canadians are collaborating with each other. Like, it doesn't matter what your religion is. He wants me to buy him a big cow. Even at five in the morning, the man from the mosque and the man from the synagogue stand with Rasha at the airport, waiting. That's the nephew Rasha has been waiting to meet. It's a rush of emotion as the family finally reunites. Laughing. 
At the key moments, Andrew and Ali Reza mostly stand aside and let the joy and relief flow. Watching with what looks like typical quiet Canadian pride. You're pretty humble in this moment, both of you. Uh, it's about them. Yes, yeah. Uh, it was one team, a uh, member of two communities, working for to bring these uh, people here. <laughs> There are introductions. A pause to preserve the moment. And then they are invited to join the triumphant arrival photo. And then they are off. There will be more work to come, a lot of it, but it's all teamwork. Everybody all in. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.